Guys, I haven't been this excited about a tire in a long time. These are the Iron Rocks by Deluxe right here. So I'm going to get these set up with pro codes in them on wheels, show you guys everything and how I did this right here, put them on a truck, and we're taking them for a drive in this video right now. Let's go. What's so special about these tires is actually pretty awesome. It's like the Tennessee cut from the Super Swamper. This is like what the bouncer guys do up there in the mountains and all that. Uh, this is nice. Now, with this being from Deluxe, I guarantee you this compound is going to be awesome. Just guarantee you that. Now, I've got these mounted up on some cheap wheels off of Amazon. Uh, they weren't the best mount up on this right here, but um, I generally use cheap wheels, and that's just kind of the way it works. But these do have a pro code in them. Um, I may adjust the pro code specifically for these tires. As you can see, there's a little bit of a ring right here. So I can actually adjust that and do a pro code specifically for the iron rocks. So, But you know what? They're in. Let's give these things a drive. I'm going to go ahead and put this last one in and show you guys. Yes, I do vent. Let me get this put together for you. Let's talk about the pro code for just a second. You see this area right here? You see this? This is what gives you the sidewall support of like a, a printed insert, like a cheat code. But look at this. See this right here? See how this comes down and next down? See this? This right here is what keeps your foam in place. It keeps it from falling off the back side of the insert. So this locks everything into place. It's like the evolution of the two-stage foam by Crawler Innovations, which those guys are legendary for the hobby, right? But this is the evolution of that. And the pro in the pro code is you because you get to tune them. Stiffer foam, softer foam, whatever you want to put on these. And they're ready to go on. Man, this is going to be phenomenal. I really like this cut right here. I really do. Look at that right there. There's your sidewall grab right there, guys. No side roll, or at least not much. You're going to get a little bit of conformability right here, but I like these. These things look awesome. Now, if you have wide capper axles, you can narrow this thing up. These would, uh, oh man, this is, this is nice. This is really nice. Um, like I say, I'm pretty sure I got the wrong wheels on these, but I want you to look at the width of these mounted up, ready to go. This is the megalithic that I really like. Uh, this right here, but I tell you, these tires would pair up beautifully with a set of negative G inverse wheels. Um, that would be phenomenal. That'd be like the perfect marriage of these tires and wheels, man. Uh, but you know what? Let's go give these things a drive. Let's just make sure that all this stuff is right. Whew. Yeah. Let's Here go. we go. I really got my hopes up for these tires because I really like the narrow tire options. I really do. And I know Deluxe has some really good rubber compound. Now this is right out of the package. Look at that, guys. Right up. Just a little bit of slip. Let's do this. Now it's kind of, now I do want to point out something. Narrow tires, look at that right there, require a little bit more tuning than fatter tires. Narrow tires have a tendency to have a little bit less contact patch on the ground, but they've got higher contact pressure on the ground. So it's kind of one of them things you kind of got to uh, tune both your vehicle and you to, to be honest with you. Get that diff over there and we're all set. Now, I was kind of worried about them being a little too stiff, but it looks like they're gonna be about right here. I'm looking at this tire conforming. That's not bad, the tread is holding up. Should be down the back right here. That looks good, looks good. We're going to go do some side healing and all that just to check these inserts out. They kind of look like they were maybe a little bit too wide on the table, but they look really good out here. So I think we may be just fine. Wow. Look at this right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. 
very nice dude i'm gonna i'm gonna have to get more of these tires i like these tires i want to put them on some negative g's uh possibly the cheap wheels off of amazon i got something on the way for those i want to bring it down this right here i do like these tires holy cow and i didn't mention but these supposedly have all the sorka legal everything like that so the side hilling looks good looks good there these are some really good tires really good tires guys this is a winner right here I, I like these tires I really do I'm still a little bit not so enthused on the wheel choice but it's what I had laying around look at that oh Oh, nice recovery. My back was down into the crack. <laughs> I'm not a plumber. Um, oh. There we go. Got to get this recovery right here. This is not the normal line through here. There we go. Very nice setup right here. You know, I can tell, generally speaking, within the first five feet, that climb over there, Homer, that I do a lot, um, I really get this feel, a lot of the tire, as far as the insert, the compound, everything, right off the bat right there. Really happy with how these are working out right here. Well, you know what time it is, right? I have messed around enough. It is time. Man, this thing is right. Sam is a good truck, man. Been a while since I've driven Sam. I've been driving the Moose all the time, but uh, it's Crowley time. We're taking it right up the hard way, too. Let's see how well they stick. It's sticking really good. Look at this, look at this. Nice job right there. Woo! I like that. Man. And you know what's crazy? I wouldn't have known about these tires unless you, if you guys hadn't have told me on that live stream. So thank you guys for that. We got to jump on Hopper. Let's just see. There it was. Yeah, all right, let's see what Sam can do with Sam here. Uh, let's see, now these wheels don't have the weight of the other wheels that I generally run on here, so, and I know the balance is a big deal when it comes to this obstacle. If I can get that front to get the hook onto this right here maybe come on baby come on come on Sam look at that <laughs> yeah <laughs> holy moly dude that was beautiful Straight up. I did this off camera. I hope I can do this on camera. Typically speaking, when you get to the wood of this, you don't go any further. Um, even with the grip tape I've had on here, this is almost an impossible. I did it one time by accident, but I've tried like every tire you can possibly imagine, and none have made this. So this spot right here, I did have to give it a little bit of a bump. But look at this. That's amazing. I have never, ever seen any vehicle with any tire crawl this at all. That was awesome. Guys, I've never been more excited about a tire. Uh, they performed really good. You'll notice they're on the VRD because I got to.
I gotta see how they perform with different vehicles. I know Sam is a special case, mullet build, all that stuff like that, but I gotta try it on something a little more normal per se, and that's gonna be the BRD. That one will be coming up soon. Guys, check that description. I'll link these up tires down below. Get them if you can, because they're probably gonna sell out. They're that good. Guys, you guys have a great day, and um, I want you all to know that, uh, thank you. Thank you guys for suggesting these tires for me. Thank you. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also for channel memberships, if you guys wanna be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.